Chapter 2 Pranayama and ITS Parallel in Speech, Mantra Yoga The connection between breath and mind will be fully discussed in speaking of the magic sword, but it may be useful to premise a few details of a practical character. You may consult various Hindu manuals, and the writing of quants, for various notable theories as to method and result. But in this skeptical system one had better content oneself with statements which are not worth the trouble of doubting. The ultimate idea of meditation being to still the mind, it may be considered a useful preliminary to still consciousness of all the functions of the body. This has been dealt with in the chapter on asana. One may, however, mention that some yogis carry it to the point of trying to stop the beating of the heart. Whether this be desirable or no it would be useless to the beginner, so he will endeavor to make the breathing very slow and very regular. The rules for this practice are given in Libba CCVI. The best way to time the breathing, once some little skill has been acquired, with a watch to bear witness, is by the use of a mantra. The mantra acts on the thoughts very much as pranayama does upon the breath. The thought is bound down to a recurring cycle. Any intruding thoughts are thrown off by the mantra, just as pieces of putty would be from a flywheel, and the swifter the wheel the more difficult would it be for anything to stick. This is the proper way to practice a mantra. Utter it as loudly and slowly as possible ten times, then not quite so loudly and a very little faster ten times more. Continue this process until there is nothing but a rapid movement of the lips. This movement should be continued with increased velocity and diminishing intensity until the mental muttering completely absorbs the physical. The student is by this time absolutely still, with the mantra racing in his brain, he should, however, continue to speed it up until he reaches his limit, at which he should continue for as long as possible, and then cease the practice by reversing the process above described. Any sentence may be used as a mantra and possibly the Hindus are correct in thinking that there is a particular sentence best suited to any particular man. Some men might find the liquid mantras of the Quran slide too easily, so that it would be possible to continue another train of thought without disturbing the mantra, one is supposed while saying the mantra to meditate upon its meaning. This suggests that the student might construct for himself a mantra which should represent the universe in sound, as the particle, footnote, C part 2. Should do in form. Occasionally a mantra may be given, that is, heard in some unexplained manner during a meditation. One man, for example, used the words, and strive to see in everything the will of God, to another, while engaged in killing thoughts, came the words and push it down, apparently referring to the action of the inhibitory centers which he was using. By keeping on with this he got his result. The ideal mantra should be rhythmical, one might even say musical, but there should be sufficient emphasis on some syllable to assist the faculty of attention. The best mantras are of medium length, so far as the beginner is concerned. If the mantra is too long, one is apartment to forget it, unless one practices very hard for a great length of time. On the other hand, mantras of a single syllable, such as Om, footnote, however, in saying a mantra containing the word Om, one sometimes forgets the other words, and remains concentrated, repeating the Om at intervals, but this is the result of a practice already begun, not the beginning of a practice. A rather jerky, the rhythmical idea is lost. Here are a few useful mantras, 1. Om. 2. Om Tat Sat Om. This mantra is purely spondaic. 2. Illustration line of music with, Om Tat Sat Om, under it, 3. Om Mani Padmham, 2 Drokis between 2 Sashuras. 3. Illustration, line of music with, Om Mani Padmham, under it, 4. Om Shivaya Vashi, 3 Drokis. Note that she means rest, the absolute or male aspect of the deity, Vaz energy, the manifested or female side of the deity. This mantra therefore expresses the whole course of the universe, from zero through the finite back to zero. 4. Illustration, line of music with, Om Shivaya Vashi Om Shivaya Vashi, under it, 5. Allah. The syllables of this are accented equally, with a certain pause between them, 
and are usually combined by fake ears with a rhythmical motion of the body to and fro. 6. Kualawalazi leilaha, ilahua. Here are some longer ones. 7. The famous Gayatri. Om. Dat savage avan yambago devasya damai diyona pratyadi at. Scan this as trochaic tetrameters. 8. Ko, kualawakad, alawa samid, lam yala dwalam ulad, walam yakan la ukafwinawakad. 9. This mantra is the holiest of all that are or can be. It is from the steel of revealing. Footnote, see Equinox 7. Akadu at Uferba by AHFU 9. Dudanerif and Nutaru. Illustration, two lines of music with, Akadu, at Uferba by, U by Ache, Fudu, Dunerif and Nu, True, under them, such are enough for selection. Footnote, meanings of mantras. One orm is the sound produced by breathing forcibly from the back of the throat and gradually closing the mouth. The three sounds represent the creative, preservative, and destructive principles. There are many more points about this, enough to fill a volume. 2. Oh that existent. Oh, an aspiration after realty, truth. 3. Oh the jewel in the lotus. Amen, refers to Buddha and Harpocrates but also the symbolism of the rosy cross. 4. Gives the cycle of creation. Peace manifesting as power, power dissolving in peace. 5. God. It adds to 66, the sum of the first 11 numbers. 6. He is God, and there is no other God than He. 7. Oh. Let us strictly meditate on the adorable light of that divine savitry, the interior sun, etc. May she enlighten our minds. 8. Say, He is God alone. God the Eternal. He begets not and is not begotten. Nor is the like unto Him any one. 9. Unity uttermost showed. I adore the might of thy breath, supreme and terrible God, who makest the gods and death to tremble before thee, dash I, I adore thee. There are many other mantras. Sri Sabapati Swami gives a particular one for each of the Kakras. But let the student select one mantra and master it thoroughly. You have not even begun to master a mantra until it continues unbroken through sleep. This is much easier than it sounds. Some schools advocate practicing a mantra with the aid of instrumental music and dancing. Certainly very remarkable effects are obtained in the way of magic powers. Whether great spiritual results are equally common is a doubtful point. Persons wishing to study them may remember that the Sahara Desert is within three days of London, and no doubt the city Aisawa would be glad to accept pupils. This discussion of the parallel science of Mantra Yoga has led us far indeed from the subject of Pranayama. Pranayama is notably useful in quieting the emotions and appetites, and whether by reason of the mechanical pressure which it asserts, or by the thorough combustion which it assures in the lungs, it seems to be admirable from the standpoint of health. Digestive troubles in particular are very easy to remove in this way. It purifies both the body and the lower functions of the mind, footnote, emphatically, emphatically, emphatically. It is impossible to combine pranayama properly performed with emotional thought. It should be resorted to immediately, at all times during life, when calm is threatened. On the whole, the ambulatory practices are more generally useful to the health than the sedentary, for in this way walking and fresh air are assured. But some of the sedentary practice should be done, and combined with meditation. Of course when actually racing to get results, walking is a distraction and should be practiced certainly never less than one hour daily by the serious student. Four hours is a better period, a golden mean, sixteen hours is too much for most people.